Turning now to uh, an incredible and daring rescue happening now at the South Pole for two sick workers there. Short time ago, a plane carrying those workers arrived at a British station about 1,500 miles north of the National Science Foundation station at the South Pole. The National Science Foundation just posted this picture on its Facebook page. It shows the aircraft shortly after it arrived at that station. The ordeal not yet over. Those sick workers must now be flown off the continent, probably to nearby, relatively speaking, nearby South America. That could happen later today or tomorrow. This is the middle of the winter at the South Pole. The sun won't shine for months. The conditions are so treacherous that most planes will not fly there between the months of February and October. NBC News chief global correspondent Bill Neely has been to the South Pole himself. He's been following the rescue mission. He joins us now live with the latest. Bill, what can you tell us? Yes, Steve, one tiny plane, one huge journey, and at least one life that was really in the balance today. That propeller plane with skis attached underneath, as you say, has now landed at the British Antarctic base at Rothera. The two sick workers, one with a life-threatening illness, are now off the plane and they're resting. It touched down there after a nine-hour flight from the U.S. South Pole base called Amundsen-Scott, and it's... Well, it's in the middle of nowhere in the Antarctic. That plane flew in total darkness across this frozen continent. This is the only plane in the world capable of doing that journey. It looks fragile, but it's actually pretty robust. Normally, no plane, as you said, would do this journey between February and October, eight months of the year. So this was a risky uh, journey. The crew uh, in this plane flew 1,500 miles in. They had a sleep. About 10 hours, and then they took off again very quickly. There was a weather window. But you wouldn't exactly call this ex uh, ideal flying weather. As you said earlier, the latest temperature uh, as they took off was 115 degrees below zero with wind chill. And in that bitter cold, uh, aircraft fuel, aircraft parts can freeze. So they had to heat the fuel that was already in the tanks. This was a life or death mission, the head of the U.S. Antarctic base told me that the sick worker had indeed a life-threatening uh, illness. So this flight back was certainly not without risk. And as you say, uh, those workers will now be flown out, probably to Punta Arenas in Chile, maybe after that on to the United States. But for the most part, the real journey uh, is over, certainly the most dangerous part. Steve? All right, Bill Neely reporting in London. Quite a story there from the South Pole. Thanks for that, Bill. The weather conditions, of course, are what made that rescue so dangerous. MSNBC meteorologist Steve Sosna joins us now with more on what the winter in the South Pole is like. Yes, and Steve, it makes Fargo feel like a Caribbean destination. It, it gets so cold down there, about 100 degrees below zero, something that many people in the United States can't even fathom. And of course, with that, you get a lot of problems. You get technical problems with the plane, you get mechanical issues, hydraulics, also uh, problems with the fuel. And you can see here is a picture of the plane landing on ski. So even the most skilled pilots here uh, cringing at this site under the conditions. Winds routinely gust at about 70 miles per hour in this area. So the flight was about 1,500 miles. Again, to put this in perspective, the United States a cross country flight usually takes about six hours. This one took about nine hours. You're not flying at the altitude that you usually would be in a commercial flight. Usually you fly about 33, 34,000 feet. These planes are flying at about 10,000 feet because the air is so cold and so dense. And again, the sun isn't anywhere to be found around here. It sets in a good part of the, the South Pole in March and doesn't come back up until September. So it's a complete darkness, although they did have a full moon to work with. So some moonlight going on here. And actually, at the time of the landing, only 14 mile per hour wind gusts. So it was that really narrow window that they had to calculate. But again, 80 degrees below zero is the current temperature right now. The coldest temperature ever experienced in the United States up in northern Alaska was 79.8 below zero. So we haven't even matched that in the United States. Meanwhile, this is what's happening in the U.S. It's winter in the South Pole, but meanwhile, baking in summer heat across the country. An incredible job by those pilots, Steve, under incredibly tough conditions. Uh, I'll tell you, I think I'd take that South Pole weather over the 102, 105 degrees there in the Southwest. Uh, a lot of people like it cold, and if you like it cold, uh, Give it a try. I, I, like, I like sweater weather. It's the I think it's the <laughs> darkness I couldn't.
couldn't handle. I'd I think a it's a little summer. more than a sweater you'll be wearing. Yeah, maybe a couple of sweaters. <laughs> Steve right. Sazna, thanks Sounds for the good. weather report. We appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.